June 18th in the year 2019 from the book of Hebrews this morning. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen. Good morning, YouTube, my beautiful, wonderful, glorious, simply amazing, fascinating, Holy Spirit filled on fire with the Holy Ghost, Bible, believe in God, fear in Philadelphia, bride, blessed hope, harpazo, rapture ready, precious, precious brothers and sisters, gather around, pull up a chair, let me know. What are you going to share with PD as we begin this glorious day together? I've got my coffee with cream and no sugar. How do you take your coffee? What do you put in your coffee? Are you a coffee drinker? Do you put cream in your coffee? Do you put sugar in your coffee? You know, sugar is toxic. It's poison. What about a sugar substitute? That isn't any better. Are you going to have some herbal tea? Are you going to have some lemonade? What are you going to share with me? Let me know. I said, let me know in the comments section below. Do that now. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen. Let me know. What are you going to share with PD in the comment section below? Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. So often we are in prayer. But we've got to believe. We've got to have faith. I want to take you to uh, Luke, the 8th chapter this morning. I'm going to begin at verse 43. And a woman having an issue of blood 12 years, which had spent all her money upon physicians, neither could be healed of any, came behind him and touched the border of his garment, and immediately her issue of blood was cured. And Jesus said, Who touched me? When all denied, uh, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude thronged thee, and pressed thee, and sayest thou, Who touched me? And Jesus said, Somebody has touched me, for I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared unto him before all the people for what cause she touched him, and how she was immediately healed. And he said unto her, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace. Faith, the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen. Believe and have faith. Now this woman had an issue of blood for 12 years and just touching and believing with faith she was healed by Jesus. You can be healed by Jesus. I want to share something with all of you. I'm not sure if uh, you are aware of this. There is a prayer that seems to be working miracles and has for quite a long time for anyone that may have an issue of blood or bleeding or having a bloody nose or a cut that, uh, that won't stop bleeding. And it's from the book of Ezekiel, the 16th chapter. And I want to share this prayer with all of you. It's from the book of Ezekiel, the 16th chapter, verse 6. And when I passed by thee and saw thee polluted in thy own blood, I said unto thee, when thou wast in thy blood, live. Yea, I said unto thee, when thou wast in thy blood, live. This prayer seems, I have done a little bit of research, seems to be working miracles. So if you're suffering with any types of uh, issue with blood, again, Ezekiel 16.6. And when I passed by thee and saw thee polluted in thy own blood, I said unto thee, When thou wast in thy blood, live. Yea, I said unto thee, When thou wast in thy blood, live. And uh, from what I understand, the bleeding stops immediately with this prayer from the King James Version Bible. All right. Good morning, everyone. Um, what a glorious day to be a child of the King. What a glorious day to go out and to serve the Lord, to serve the Most High. I want to thank all of you. I'll be out in the city of Flint um, 
today. I will be out with the ministry. I was out yesterday. I will be in Flint, just Flint today, with our ministry and outreach to the homeless. And I just want to thank all of you for your love and your support. Let me know. I want to do more teachings and more um, things of interest that will uh, uh, bring you closer to the Word of God on this channel. So I'm going to do some more teachings and more Bible reading and studying. So give me some ideas in the comment section below. Worship in the Park. I recorded Sunday our service. I want to thank all of you that uh, liked the sermon Sunday. And then Sunday, I had my phone. I was recording live for um, Facebook, an hour sermon. And I didn't realize that now, after all of that, the battery in my phone was dead. So I didn't get any pictures from Sunday. So I apologize. But I will be out there today with our ministry and outreach to the homeless. I'm going to try to come live tonight. No promises, 7.30, 8 o'clock. So kind of stay tuned uh, and have our live online church. We're living in the last days, the end days, brothers and sisters. And uh, war is on the horizon. War. The drums of war are pounding. We've got China snuggling up and buddying up with uh, Vladimir Putin and Russia, the bear. All oh, the hooks are in the jaw, I'm telling you. And then Iran is, uh, we're sending now a thousand more troops uh, to the Middle East. Iran is being defiant and uh, I th all of Israel's, everyone, Israel is surrounded by all those that want to annihilate and wipe Israel off the map. The United States is being drawn in. So we've got to be ready. We've got to be prayed up. We've got to be ready to escape all the things that are come upon this whole world, weather, weather phenomenons, rain. I, 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 I've never seen anything like this. It's June 18th and the beaches are empty. It's been cold. It's been raining. No one is going swimming. Um, during Father's Day, people were, I guess, having cookouts. I was busy uh, with our church and uh, feeding the homeless, but uh, it was raining and overcast and from what I understand, the beaches are, are empty, and it should be 85 degrees now. And I remember my wife told me, I think it was last Father's Day, it was her dad had to come over uh, just to cool off because we had the air conditioning. And it was 85 degrees. And there's something happening. There's something. There's a planet. There's a star, and the name of that star is Wormwood. Something's wreaking havoc on this planet. And Father God's judgment is about to be handed down. I want to thank the following, since I've seen you last, since uh, our uh, live stream, I want to thank uh, the following who have given so much and have a heart for the homeless, the hands and feet of Jesus. Richard from Rochester, New York. I want to thank Brother Richard for an offering of $100. Let me find him. Hold on. Let me find him. Here is Richard from New York. I'm going to put Richard in for the drawing. Let me fold it up though. We gotta make it fair. We gotta be fair. I'm gonna put this in here. So I wanna thank Richard from Rochester, New York. I wanna thank Denise. Oh, sister Denise. 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 I finally got another card from Ohio. Oh, way to go, Ohio. <laughs> so that, look at the butterfly. Look at that. It's beautiful. And that's gonna go up on our wall. Over here, right up on the wall. It looks like it's on the wall. It's on my, it's on my hat. There we go. And I want to thank Denise for an offering of twenty dollars to our ministry and outreach to the homeless. Next time you see me, the card will be on the wall. Let me find her. Um, you gotta find her. Where'd she go? Oh, here she is. Okay. <laughs> So we're gonna put Denise in the coffee can. And I wanna thank D D Nice D N I S E one hundred dollars to our ministry and outreach to the homeless. And let me get this ready. Denise or Denise? D-N-I-S-E. Hang on. 
and we're going to put her in for the drawing. Put her in a coffee can. There we go. And Sister Angela! Angela, $25 to our ministry and outreach to the homeless. And here's Angela. And we're going to put her in for the drawing. <laughs> right, and I want to thank all of you uh, that have given so much to support this ministry and outreach to the homeless. And uh, I want you to believe. I want you to know. I want you to believe and claim your healing and claim your miracles today. Heading out to Flint, Michigan. I love you guys. I love you guys so much. And uh, I want to close out uh, my morning video with prayer. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Father God, you are so, so awesome. You're just an amazing God. Have a Father. Father, I pray for each and every person that is subscribed to this channel, that is tuning in, that is watching this video. They need you, Father God. They need change in their life. They need healing. They need whatever the situation is to be turned around for the greater good, Father God. Father, I pray for healing, and I pray for an abundance and increase and an abundance of blessing for every person, for all of those that are, that are just so faithful, Father God, faithful to you and to your word. Father, I pray that you will bring the lost bring those that are not saved those that need jesus bring them to this channel father god father bring them to this channel let us just share your word with them father to you be the glory today the honor and the praise forever and ever amen and amen i'll see you guys real soon all the links will be below if you find it in your heart to support this ministry and outreach to the homeless right where it show, says show more right above where you leave your comments click on the show more tab i love you guys god bless brothers and sisters here is the way that you can give a love offering support to our ministry and outreach to the homeless let me uh share with you first paypal paypal is fast it's instant it's immediate and it's safe and it's secure below all of my videos right above where you leave your comments you'll see a link for paypal and it'll take you right to this page here trumpet of god ministries paypal.me forward slash pastor dave zacker and uh, trumpet of god ministries another way you can give through paypal let's go take a look at gofundme and this is our gofundme campaign help this homeless ministry created this back in february of 2017 uh, two years ago and it's another way that you can give a love offering to help me help the homeless. Now, I want to share something very exciting with you. It's uh, called Tithely. Let me share this with you. This is something brand new. It's called Tithely. It's for churches to uh, receive uh, tithes and offerings, as you can see. Uh, we uh, created this May the 6th of 2019 this year and nothing has come in no one has tried this yet they take no fee if you give twenty dollars to the ministry twenty dollars goes into the trumpet of god ministries checking account bank account and uh, there are other ways through tithely that you can text and give and it's very very simple you just text give to 734-636-2281. Text GIVE to 734-636-2281. I love this option and it's been working very, very well. It's called Super Chat. It's when we're doing our live online church with our live chat room. You'll see here a smiley face and a dollar sign. You click on that. And uh, that will send you to a uh, that will send you to where you can give an offering. I believe we've got to be live for that to come through. Another way to give to this ministry. And below all of our live streams and all of my videos on my YouTube channel, you can click on the Show More tab right above where you leave your comments. The video will be playing up here, where it says Show More. Click there, and uh, let me click. There we go. 
And here you will have all of the links to how you can give to our ministry and outreach to the homeless. You can also send Christy and I your, your prayer request and we will pray for you. And you can send a love offering to Pastor David Zachard, 6052 Stockbridge Commons Trail, Grand Blank, Michigan, 48439. Pastor David Zachard, 6052 Stockbridge Commons Trail, Grand Blank, Michigan, 48439. You can also go to our website, trumpetofgodministries.com. Let me take it there. Trumpetofgodministries.com, trumpetofgodministries.com, and uh, links to our chat room and our live uh, service. Donate here, and you can also click on the Donate tab.